Hi, chat. Everybody do me a favor and say, Hi, YouTube. Stop punching your little Ella. Stop punching your little Ella. So today, chat, there has been a very big tweet going around that has garnered a lot of attention. And I feel like everybody has had something to say about the situation. However, I have not seen a full timeline of everything. So I would like to give you the full timeline, dive into this particular individual, and let's make an assessment of what is going on. So today, chat, I would like to talk about Lumi Hair Grimson and their particular post that has been going absolutely viral. Uh, so let's take a look here at the tweet today, chat. So from Lumi Hair Grimson says, I don't support bigger VTubers, 500 plus average, because they won't acknowledge your <laughs> until you get to that point. But let's be real, 99% of streamers, not just VTubers, never see that goal. I know I'm not that big by any means, but I mess with everybody regardless of viewership or follower count, but why though? Because you guys are the ones who gave me the support to get to that level. And for that, I'm forever grateful. I've love y'all never forget that so first off we're already contradicting ourselves i don't support bigger vtubers but i mess with everyone huh <laughs> yeah so already contradicting ourselves but like, here's the issue chat why are we not supporting vtubers with a 500 plus average why are we attaching a number to a person's value to support them yeah i'm sorry i'm too big of a vtuber chat i can't support me anymore it doesn't make any sense. On top of that, chat, you guys know I interact with big VTubers. I interact with small VTubers. I interact with everybody. And one thing that I love about my friends is my bigger uh, VTuber friends that have a very high average and also my VTuber friends have a very low average, they still treat me with the exact same respect, exact same love, exact same compassion, and they treat me the exact same. So I think this is really fucking stupid that we're going, oh, no, they're, they're never going to acknowledge you because in my experience, I can tell you that it's immediately disproven. And I think a lot of people can look at the situation and say, yeah, th that's... This makes no sense. Why are we t so attached to numbers in this situation? It really doesn't matter. People are people. People are gonna treat you good or bad. At the end of the day, it's them, their personality, and their characteristics. That's the most important thing, right, chat? So I wanna go and look at a response to this, which I thought was fantastic. So I'm gonna go look at Yomi's response. Uh, Yomi really had a great response to this. So Yomi says, the moment you don't wanna support somebody, due to numbers, big or small, you've lost what makes VTubing special. Thank you. I love creators of all sizes. Some of them are my best friends do it as a hobby. Some have small numbers. Some people have grown close to are quite large. Some people do it full time. It doesn't matter, guys. Numbers should not affect who you engage with, period. What the desk? I made a post as well, uh, kind of talking about this. You know, I said numbers should dictate who you or anybody else wants to engage with. Why is viewership being tied to somebody's value as a person? It makes no sense. Let's kind of go look at some of what the comments from people are saying here. Toledo says how to simultaneously ruin 99.99% of your future interaction with bigger VTubers. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Mimi says, oh, this is disheartening. Amiya says, you support somebody because you genuinely like them and their content, not because of a numerical value. Exactly. There's a bunch of amazing VTubers out there that I genuinely want to show support to. Absolutely. Preach. I like watching lower view count VTubers because I like the more homey stre uh, stream vibes and helping smaller content creators get a place. Also, chat moves slower. Hey, that's perfect. You know what? Though? This will make an awesome video. <laughs> I really know. <laughs> what? <laughs> As we record for YouTube. You're right. You're right, Ray. I agree. I agree with you. I'm not sure it's value, but I can see you can be selective of who you work with. Exactly. You can be selective, but you don't have to look at the number value. That would be like me scrolling to Twitch and be like, oh, no, they have, they have 500 viewers. I'm not going to try to be their friend. What? Now, chat, you might be wondering why we are all posting pictures of this. Why I posted a picture, why Yomi posted a picture. And that is because, chat, as you can imagine, uh, this person has locked their account. That is right. They have locked. They said, most are protected. Nah. They're going in the turtle shell, chat. They said, yeah, no, this ain't gonna happen. Now, chat, we thought that this was it. This was the end of the saga of Lumiere. But, chat... As with all things, let me invoke the VTuber view slogan. It got worse. It got worse, chat. This person has been complaining about this particular issue, right? So when I read this chat, you know, trying to put myself in his shoes, I said, he probably had a bad experience with a bigger VTuber, right? This probably would jade him to feel that way. I looked at this and I said, something happened, chat. Something happened with this person. Well, chat, 
here is exactly what happened. So let's check in with Mother V3, who said, hi there. And of course, here's additional post here from him. I rated one of the bigger cats with 160 people, gifted them 10 subs and said, I love you, your content is amazing. And shortly after I was banned from their channel. That was a wake up call for me to only mess with folks who deserve it. Keep that chin up, my baby, you're amazing. Never let anyone push you to think otherwise. So here is that jaded moment, chat. And that is where Mother V3 steps into the situation. Now, chat, I want you to know Mother V3 is one of the nicest, most amazing YouTubers I have had the pleasure of talking to in my life. So let's take a look at what Mother V3 had to say. Well, hi there, I'm one of the bigger cats that have banned this person from my stream. If I may speak from experience, I banned them for a good reason, all right? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I support who I want to, to support, big and small. Most of all, I support who I choose and I love it that way. There are many people from within my community that can attest to that, some being regular recipients of my director's support. With that said, I don't care who you are. This goes for anybody. I don't care if you rated me. I don't care if you supported me. If you break my rules I've set for my streams, you do not respect my community. You are above nobody else in my stream, and you most certainly don't deserve my support. Now, I was curious about maybe which rule he broke, but ultimately, I didn't really expect to answer. I would say Mother has a very good head on her shoulders, right? Knowing Mother a little bit, I, I think that she made this decision in from a good place, right? So I trust Mother. I would say that her decision making is sensible. Well, looking at this, I said, all right, that's kind of it. There's not really much more. Except yet, there is more because Mother actually had to respond to another message from this bozo that said, if you're going to show DMs, at least show all of them. So that is right, chat. Um, this particular person went on to show their DMs that they had with Mother. So let's go take a look at what exactly happened. But first, chat, I do want to take a look here at their original post here. So his initial response to Mother was, I'm more than willing to discuss them privately as adults. You message request me acting like you want to be civil and then pulling this, looking for me to give some sort of a mission of guilt. Then proceeds to post a full doxing post. We're going to put the doxing on the shelf. We're gonna save that for later and see if that's actually true. Go ahead and link in the inbox messages and tell everybody about the anomalies Twitch notified you of when I raided you. This just shows how trash you are. I said I wasn't going to air this out publicly, but you definitely showed your true colors. So here we go, chat. We have the message from Mother where she reached out. Said, hey, I hope you're doing well. I noticed your recent tweet and wanted to reach out directly. I understand there might be some feelings or frustration and misunderstanding. I'm about to ban on my stream, and I want to let you know if you have any concerns or questions about it. I'm more than willing to discuss them with you privately as adults. I mean, this is absolutely fair. I, I see no problem, chat. But where is the problem? A decision to ban was not made lightly and was based on certain observations that I felt needed addressing. I value the community and believe in open communication. So please feel free to reach out if you'd like to talk more about this. So chat, it really feels like, you know, Mother was very sensible. He said, hey, you know, I want to talk about the rest of the situation privately from this point. So, so I'm scratching my head here, chat. What exactly is Mother talking about here, chat? So I decided let's do just a little digging on this guy's channel. Maybe there is a reason, right? Uh, maybe his games or, or something like that. So let's go take a look at his stats, right? Let's go take a look. So, you know, kind of streaming and holy sh that is a large follower jump. What is going on? That's that is not natural. That is not natural growth at all. Let me ask you, chat. Let me ask you. Do you think that this is botting? And I'm going to tell you my opinion. Absolutely. This kind of jump right here is insane. I mean, there could be something where you went viral or something like that, right? But for this to keep growing at this kind of pace, nah, there's no way. He bought followers. He absolutely bought followers, chat. Let's go look at Yomi's stats. His chat is a much more natural progression. This is what it's supposed to look like slow sloping upwards this is actual progression not this this is proof right here of botting 100 percent chat as a consultant for many vtubers chat I i'm gonna i'm gonna pat myself on the back i've worked with hundreds over 100 vtubers in consulting work with them i work on this type of stuff every single day chat working on packets, working on consulting work with not only corporate VTubers, but indie VTubers. I can tell you, in my professional opinion, this is botted, absolutely botted chat. I am forklift certified chat. <laughs> this is 100%. How do you, like literally, how do you not stream? Look at this huge gap. How do you not stream and still get that many followers? Look at this gap chat. How do you keep growing another 800 followers when you're not even streaming? What the f***?
This makes no sense whatsoever, chat. Because remember, this is your average viewership for each of your streams, right? He's not even streaming and he's gaining almost 600 followers from the 15th of June to July 7th. Absolutely crazy chat. Over here, I'm very confused because maybe this was just like a tracking issue where like the followers went up and down. Maybe he got banned or something. I don't know. Could he get other streamers in trouble raiding them with all those bots? Goddess, you've given me the perfect segue. Thank you for that. Because chat, as we went with mother stuff here, she specifically said, this decision was not made lightly. It's based on certain observations that I felt needed addressing. Well, that is because mother realized this person is body. And so let's take a look at what mother had to respond to the DMs I just showed you. If you're going to show DMs, at least show it all dear. And yes, it was private until you decided to air out dirty laundry in public. Read the message for yourself. I'm nothing to hide there. I even made it crystal clear that you were perfectly pleasant in my stream while you were there. So you were no misinterpretation of why you were banned. But I want to say I doxed you. You did not dox them. I give you a chance. I let things go for months. You give the opportunity to save face, but not anymore. You are mistaken. You are the pathetic one. You are the one that subtweeted me. You are the one that bot raided me. You're the reason I still deal with them to this day. And so that bot raid, him using bots on his stream, has caused problems with the raids that he did the mother who still has to deal with these problems to this day so here are the full dms chat let's take a look at what lumiere had to respond mother seeing it's been a few months i don't think that anything needs to be talked about at this point whether you choose to reach out to protect your image or because you're actually showing a genuine concern towards me doesn't really matter it's been months however i do want to make uh, things clear and you're one of the few streamers who content actually enjoyed who also had a large following i respected you for how entertaining you were there were never any intentions of trying to get clout from you getting your attention in a romantic way even to collaborate with you i create my own lane and couldn't fathom piggybacking on somebody else in order to gain variety or recognition. All my support was 100% genuine and done with zero intention of gaining anything in return. That said, you and your mods acted how you saw fit and removed me from the community without a warning. They didn't need to. They do not get, need to give you a warning if they see that you are botting. No warning is required. You deserve the ban, period, chat. End of story. It's, it's absolute jealousy, Desu. I, I'm glad you point that out because you can tell this person is jealous, right? For them not to buy followers? Yeah, no, absolutely not. Nothing else need to be discussed at your decision. I respect it. That's all I got. Best of luck to you and yours. Be safe and keep making dope content. And so here's the response that mother gave. She said, that's true. Nothing needs to be said, but I just want to make uh, one thing very clear to you. You're a very nice person. I appreciate your support. Yes, I agree. Everything I did was how I saw fit. Absolutely. I'll can you continue to do so. And per Twitch's own guidelines, given to myself and my team, I was directed to remove you from my own community. I like to leave it at that as I'm sure it's something you're well aware of what's going on, but I cannot allow that for my community. Based mother V3. Best of luck to you and hope the best for your community. In addition to make things crystal clear, I'm aware that you didn't have any intention to clout. Again, your band uh, was for a completely different reason. And a reason why I'm sure you're aware of, and I don't need any explanation for it, <laughs> considering I told you that I was directed to do so, by Twitch's guidelines themselves. Mother treated this the most professional, most absolute best way you possibly could chat. She literally reached out to Twitch, she wasn't sure what to do. She did everything that she needed to do to cover her butt. Literal pro response. Again, Chad, to paint a picture, we have a person here that is pissed off and they don't support larger YouTubers, mostly because they were jaded in the past, because mother ended up banning them, because they bought their account. Did, did I miss anything? I will tell you, chat, you can never cheat your way to the top. Botting, it's never gonna work out for you. You will never be able to cheat your way to the top. It never works. Yeah, it's a slam dunk for Mother all the way. Not even close, right? So let's keep going because there is just a little bit more chat. Mother, there's a little more response. She said, I'm tired. I try to get back any way I can to my community. I try to say hi to everybody stream with my TTS. You try it. Even with dealing with so many bot raids, even after I try to make civil, even after all this, still not enough. What do they want from me? That's so sad, chat. I, I, my heart really goes out to her because she wouldn't even have these issues that this person was a body and raided her and she's still dealing with it. It's really, really sad. And this person just keeps going after her and her manager being toxic as well. Apparently, Mickey, from what I was told, and this is hearsay, so don't, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Apparently, his manager and him are the same person. It's absolutely crazy. So, of course, there are other people pointing out the botting. Uh, Pingu did uh, step in and said, fellow, you bought followers and literally bought your streams, all your bots, the same two users. Posting only emotes proves that don't pretend to be on a high horse. While cheating your way to partner, where is them doxing? Of course, here is a screenshot. So chat, let's double down on the proof. Let's go check the bots. You, you can't hide from the bots. <laughs> now I'm giving it a real view. Oh no. All right, so let's take a look here, chat. I guess we'll just look at the last one. How about that? Why does... Uh, 
Why does this have so many more views? That's a huge disparagement. Like, like, look at the views. 8.9, 16.6, 3.4, 1.9. It's not looking uh, too good. What I want to point out to you, chat, is the actual timestamps. So take a look at this. 5.13, four minutes later. One minute later, one minute later, seven minutes later, 10 minutes later, almost 20 minutes later. His chat is dead. Absolutely dead. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, this this is actually a dead chat. This is botted. In my professional opinion, after looking at everything, it's botted. This seems to be the end of everything, chat. Unfortunately, as you can see, uh, you know, he went private. He's he, he's he's toast, chat. He's done. Uh, everybody found out what he was doing. He got called out for it. And, uh, you know, Mother V3 has all the receipts. So let me ask you guys really quick. If you have any more links you want me to take a look at about the situation, send them over my way. I mean, ultimately for me, uh, he's a botter. by follows. He uh, caused issues for other VTubers. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. I don't thought can't take away something he never had. Oh! Oh, oh yummy! It's like, if we take away your bots, what do you have? Oh, wait, you never had anything anyway. Oh! Boom! Got him! Alright, see you later, chump. No viewers, no supporters, no maidens. Maidenless behavior. Oh my god. He literally, chat, if you think about it, he had to buy his maidens. Despicable. Gross. Wow, big sad.